Because again, my whole passion is training people in not just to remember stuff, but in a critical path thinking skills that will let them move forward and do what they need to do. Whether survive in the Army, have a great career, or move forward with their lives. We want them to be able to do what they need to do. So I'm going to cover a few things, and we'll talk about some of the things that we did in the Army. I want to talk about linear leadership versus asymmetrical leadership. You know, back in World War I, World War II, even before that, you know, one army lined up on one side, the army, other army lined up on the other side, side, and then they did what I thought, always thought was one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. They take turns shooting at each other. You remember? You see the movies, you know, they go up, okay, the British would stop, the Americans would stop, the British would just stand there while the Americans shot, and then the Britons would take their turn, and then they'd move a little closer together, and they'd do it again. That's the linear leadership of the military carried on up through about the 60s, and then Vietnam started changing some things. And then when we started into the Middle East, we, we completely had to change the way that we did things. Instead of being a linear leader where you started here and you went that way and you fought the bad guys, all of a sudden, not just the generals, not just the colonels, but every soldier we had had to become a strategic soldier. Every soldier that we had needed to know culture. They needed to know first aid. They needed to be able to counsel people. They needed to be able to talk to the press. They needed to be able to do things that they had never had to do before as a soldier because of the exposure of Internet, the fact that we're going into a country that you didn't, you know, people didn't line up. You didn't know who the enemy was anymore. So as you're going forward and doing this, we were building strategic soldiers on, that could survive and do what they needed to do. But as they moved forward, they could handle many, many, many tasks that would help our organization grow and prosper. You know, if one of my soldiers was interviewed, you know how it is the, the old reporter will step up to the guy who looks like he's in the worst shape and they'll hand him a mic or put a mic in his mouth and say, how's things going today? And you know what that soldier's going to say. This is the worst place I've ever been. As soon as I can, I'm getting out of here and going home. Well, you know, if you, if you do that, then, then you've got to expect that kind of thing. But if you take those soldiers and you say, let me explain what we're doing. Let me tell you why we're here. Let me tell you what our vision is and how we're going to do this. Then that helps. One of the things that I don't see school systems doing is training strategic teachers. You know, I think that a lot of times teachers, I used to tell some of my soldiers, the old thing like being mushrooms, you know, they keep you in the dark and, well, I won't go there, but they, you know, they, they keep you in the dark and just feed you things they want you to know. And that's, we stopped doing that in the military back in the 60s and 70s and 80s. So what we started doing was making sure our teachers and soldiers knew why they were doing what they were doing. They knew that if a reporter you know, said, tell me what's going on in your school today, they didn't just talk about their classroom. They talked about how important it was to do the things that Clark County just stood up and talked about, how they're changing, how they're moving from the, from the old way of life to the digital world, how they're doing those things. That's exactly what the vision project that you've got going on is doing. They're looking at how to do that transition, how to make people comfortable with the move, and how to make it so that the, the school system that I'm so proud of, because I went to Mary Persons High School and I'm still a bulldog at heart, that, that they are trying to help it so that you can tell the great story that you tell. When I come to this conference, I always leave here so fired up about education. I mean, I just get excited. But then when I go to the schools and I go to the communities and I talk to them about the school systems, they don't get the same message that you get down here. So one of the things that I'll tell you has completely transformed the Army is developing strategic soldiers. And one of the things that I think would help the public education system of Georgia if we started teaching our teachers strategic things to do, strategic ways of helping the school system and telling the story of how good a job or how great a job you do every day with the, with the students.